everybody, it's Jonathan, Senior Smoke with Curto's Ring of Fire in Westchester County. It is 80 degrees in late October in the Northeast. So, what the hell? Let's film another video. This video is going to answer another question, but not just any question. This is going to answer the question that I have been asked the most throughout my years of selling outdoor products. And that question is, Smoke, if you could only have one grill, one grill, what would it be? Desert Island Grill. So we're going to pretend that the desert island has electricity. So we can include the pellet grills in this uh, decision. And um, on that note, my Memphis Pro would be in the running and would come in second, okay? Losing out to a ceramic grill, and in particular, it would be the Primo. All right, so let's get into this quickly. Why a ceramic? Why the Primo? The ceramic grills, whether, um, you know, whatever brand you go with, and I've owned all th you know, three of the major ones, right? The Egg, the uh, Kamado Joe, and the Primo. That is really the only grill that I believe that actually will better the taste of your food uh, because you're using charcoal and also because of the ceramic properties of these grills. They, I believe, retain, there's a science behind this, I believe they retain more moisture in the food, and the, the food just tastes better than cooking it on a gas grill. So right off the bat, we know that we're going to get better flavor by using these grills, in particular the Primo. Um, um, and also, I just like the, I like cooking with solid fuel. I like live fire, it's the caveman in me. I like charcoal with a little bit of wood in there, and that's what they do. Now, why the Primo? The Primo is a grill, okay? It is not a smoker, it's a grill. That is a mistake that is um, it really it, the Kamado Joe and the egg as well. People will come in, they'll go, oh, look, the smoker. Maybe we'll put that in the outdoor kitchen, or maybe we'll get that for daddy for uh, Father's Day. It's not a smoker. Smoking is one thing that it does. It is a grill, right, that could smoke, sear, bake, be an oven, be a pizza oven. Um, they do everything. But I have a... Um, a soft spot for the Primo. Again, I've owned all three of them. I like the oval shape of the Primo, which allows me to divide the firebox easier and do two different temperatures. Or if I don't want to make, I don't want to use a lot of charcoal, I could bank it on one side and just cook really with one part of the grill. That's actually one reason why the XL Primos are so popular. Folks feel that the XLs or the, like the Big Joe or the extra large egg or the extra extra large are actually too big. They're not good in terms of fuel efficiency. If you get an XL Primo or even the double XL now, you have a better, you, you can do a better job of maintaining fuel efficiency because you can cut the firebox with the cast iron divider and just use part of it. Um, there, it's, just, it's just better fuel efficiency. And also on that note, the ceramic mixture, a proprietary thing with the Primo, is better than the other two. And um, what it does is it, I feel that it allows the grill to heat up quicker. And I also find that it allows the grill to maintain temperatures for longer periods of time with more consistency. And that is very important for me. I'm a, I'm a Luddite. I don't like to use all the gadgets and stuff like that. If I'm doing a brisket overnight, okay, I want to make sure that my grill is going to hold temperature consistently and let me sleep. I don't need to be monitoring with my phone and all this other stuff. I've done it all on all these grills and the Primo to me I've had the best luck with, okay? So the oval shape the ceramic mixture. They have tons of accessories as now if you're into that thing as well, rotisserie, pizza oven, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I like the fact that it's also made, it's always been made in the USA. It was first made in Georgia, now it's made outside St. Louis. And it's a good company. They support their product, they support their customers. It's, uh, it's a wonderful thing. So there's probably some out there who would, would have thought, oh, I mean, he's an Alfresco guy, he's a DCS guy. I'm surprised he didn't name those. No, they're gas girls. There's not, the gas girls will never, ever be able to hold their own with a Kamado grill, no matter what the brand is. And that's just a simple truth. And the the, the pellet grill, the Memphis, uh, and I did love my Traeger Timberline 850 that I want to actually throw in some props for that. That grill, man, I had some amazing cooks on that thing. Um, uh, I miss it. I let that go, uh, um, you know, I don't know, six months ago, whatever. Great cooks on the 850. Uh, 1300, a little too big for my taste, but my Memphis Pro is awesome as well, and it's it, and I grill on it. I don't just smoke, but I'm I'm definitely gonna go with the Primo because I want that live fire again. It's it's that caveman 
thing. It's a primal, it's primal cooking. So that's it. Um, if I ever do get stranded on a desert island, hopefully I'll be there with a primo. Um, questions at rofgrills.com. Uh, come into the showroom, call, stop by, visit, whatever. Thank you.